Thank you. And we're heading to the GRDC office, the Jamaica Rastafari and Development Community Office, and to take a short tour of the Chashamani community that Rastafari has developed over the last 30 years. Yes. Yes, Rasta, Ethiopia, 2001. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I decided on this thing and Sister Lana was able to, to help me put it together so that, you know, we come to Africa, but not only just to see Africans who live, who were born here, but to see Africans repatriated and just, you know, be a part of that progress. And I think that's really... Thank you. Give thanks. Give thanks for virtue. Yeah. Progress is a thing and, you know, that's the reason why I do this, the reason why you're here. It's because of Stand progress. Come on, yeah. yes. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. So, um, you know, to, to get this mm -hmm. going, Sister Laura, yeah. just give us a brief um, description of the organization, okay. or the people, so, okay. how we, when we started, yeah. and where we are today. Okay. And I'll just, you know, this is just okay. a part of our right. contribution yes. to progress. Yes. Well, give thanks. Greetings everybody, welcome. Give me now that right. <laughs> Donna Lou, as they would say, you mean, how are you? But I'm Kanjo, everything is beautiful, it's a beautiful morning. Yes, um, This is the JRDC office. The JRDC is a local NGO that was formed to represent the Rastafarians who have repatriated to Ethiopia and represented. In between the Rastafarian community, we have different mansions, like different sets. We have the 12 tribe of Israel, the Naya Binge, the Baba Shante, the EWF, which is the World Ethiopian World Federation Group. And this is the umbrella that represents all of the community. Each one of the mansions have their different headquarters and stuff where they do. We all do things, but you know, like even within the Christian faith, different church do things a little different. You have a Sabbath here, this one do this. So we kind of have that a little bit too. But uh, this is the, the governmental umbrella that represents the, all the Rastafarians. So we more than welcome you and we give thanks for your visit to Shashamani. Um, we don't have a gated community where all, should, all of us live, but this is our general area to Jamaica Safa, I mean like the Jamaica town. So this is where we live. Most, some of the people are not Jamaicans, but in Ethiopia, from your Rastafari, they consider you Jamaica. So they call everybody Jamaica. So this is Jamaica mm -hmm. Safa. Okay. We're going to take in a little while on a tour and to see some of the places we might be able to spend a lot of time in any one place, but we'll show you some of the more historical sites. Um, Brother Desai and Sister Joan are two of the people who are repatriated by the 12 tribes of Israel, and they're living here now for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. 
we have a big community of people who have been here for over 30 years, sent by the 12 tribes of Israel. And one of this time is my sister Joel, and two of those people. He's also one of the founding members of the JRDC, so I'm going to turn it over to him to give you, and he's very, 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 very good at speaking, oh, very yeah. eloquent. So I'm going to turn it over to him and let him just give you a little brief history of the pioneers that have set it here. Oh, one of this time. I hope I hope it's it's going to. <laughs> question is whether I'm in good form this morning. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to Ethiopia. This is a wonderful group. Indeed, we are delighted to have you all here. You know, when I read the history of us, you know, in fact, I just finished reading a book about Marcus Garvey, and he told us about, you know, reshaping, rebuilding the nation in Africa. And when I do see this, it gives me a great lot of impetus, you know. It gives me, you know, courage and strength to continue the process. You know, at this present time, we might not be, you know, vast in number, but, you know, you must remember the biblical story about the, um, the, 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 the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. which is one of the smallest of all seeds but when it does grow it grows into the biggest of all trees and this is the first step as the Chinese say that a thousand miles starts with the first step mm -hmm. now as sister Lorna has said we have been around for over three decades and the beauty about it is that we did not come to Ethiopia as on an individual basis. What we did in the West was to organize ourselves uh, and our organization was able to send our executive members to the land and take back to us reports so that we could we could we could um you know have the right frame of mind, you know, know what to do and what not to do, and mm -hmm. so forth and so on. Mm? Well, um, you know, we we have um, get together our community because, you know, in the early days we used to try to do things in a fragmented <coughs> way, and we were told by the authority that, look, Jamaica, it is best for you to come together right and work from a unified base and um, this we have done and we have made a further step to register our community as a local non-governmental organization which will legitimize whatever we do on the ground well since 2007 ethiopia's motto has been development 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 and I'm sure that you have seen, you know, the little that you have seen so far, there is what you call a construction boom taking place right across the country. You understand? And we as a people coming from the West, they, they, um, the Ethiopians are expecting us to play a central role in the development of Ethiopia. And we do want, we do want to be at the heart of it. We don't want to be outside looking in. We want to be, the, be at the heart of the, the development process that is, that is taking place. So, you know, when we see people like, you, uh, you know, you all, you know, it really gives us, you know, the will and the determination, you know, to really continue what we, what we are doing. Ethiopia, as you all know, is the cradle of mankind. When you come, you will see that there's a whole lot of work in front of us as a people. You will see that during the colonial period, they really set back Africa oh, hundreds yes, of years. Yes. You know, but let us not lose hope. Let us not lose hope, you know. We can do it. As a people, we can do it. We might have our differences being mortal beings, but, but when it comes to the common good, the common good for us all, we just got to, you know, just put the differences, you know, behind us and, you know, 
pool our resources together. Africa awaits its creators. Yes. So I really am pleased.